It's Monday, November 7th, 2011. I'm Wilson Tang on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. Amazon shook up the tablet market with the announcement of the Kindle Fire at the breakthrough price of $200. It left many people wondering what other Android tablet makers would do, especially Barnes & Noble with its Nook. This morning, the bookseller has taken on Amazon with the Nook tablet. On paper, the Nook tablet and Kindle Fire stack up well. They both have 7-inch color touchscreens, 1 gigahertz dual-core CPUs, custom versions of Android, 8 hours of battery life, Wi-Fi, and Adobe Flash. Neither have a camera, Bluetooth, or 3G, though. But the Nook tablet will come in at $250. The extra $50 will get you, however, 16 gigabytes of storage, plus a micro SD slot for more, compared to just 8 gigs and no expense on the fire. That may make a big difference when you don't have Wi-Fi and can't stream movies. The Nook tablet is expected to ship on November 17th, but pre-orders start today. Barnes & Noble also took the time to refresh the rest of the Nook line of e-readers. First, the Nook Color will remain on the market at just $199 with the same specs as last year. The company also dropped the price of its Simple Touch e-ink reader to just $99, which matches the price of the ad-supported Kindle Touch with special offers. The bookseller also improved battery life and performance all around. The new Simple Touch is available today. Finally, the Nook tablet and Color will get additional app support from an improved PDF reader, more titles on Nook New stand, apps from Netflix, Hulu, and Vudu, with Pandora, Mog, and Spotify to come soon. In more Android news, if you're wondering whether that HTC smartphone will ever get the new Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich update, then wonder no more. The Taiwanese company has offered a preliminary list on its Facebook page with the devices that will get the new software. They include the new HTC Vivid, Sensation, Sensation XL and XE, and the Resound. Owners of the Evo 3D, Evo Design 4G, and Amaze 4G will have to wait depending on their carrier. HTC says they will continue to evaluate older Android phones to see if they can handle new software. All this is good news for some Android phone owners who have to contend with lagging updates from the carriers and manufacturers. All the focus on mobile products is a sign of things to come. Barclay Capital has announced in a report that it will be slashing its global PC growth forecast for the fourth quarter of this year from 7.2% to just 4.3%. The investment bank cites continued weakness in the market and a worldwide shortage of hard drive disks caused by the floods in Thailand. The report also lowers its forecast through next year with growth dropping from 4.4 to 3.4%. It may be time to look at SSD drives. Continuing on the bad news, Best Buy has announced a number of changes after several disappointing quarters. First, Best Buy will buy out Carphone Warehouse's interest in the company's U.S. and Canadian Best Buy mobile businesses. Also across the pond, Best Buy has decided to shut down all of its 11 big box stores that it operates in the U.K. by the end of the year. The stores have proven to be a drain on the company. The changes are meant to show up the company's financials, but over the last 12 months, the company's stock has fallen 39%. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Wilson Tang for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.